So he does have access, places more to the pallet aspect, and then he can place a bone graft. So the papilla sparing procedure is not limiting his ability to gain access to this area. Before the graft is done, I'm going to then make my provisional restoration so I have access to the site. And really the beauty behind the provisional restoration, we like to advocate having a more palatal approach or bias to the implant to be placed so that the access hole is coming out the cingulum and no further than the incisal edge position of the final provisional restoration. So um, placing it in this manner does allow me to then create a screw retained provisional and the reason why I like screw retained provisionals is the following is that it really has two advantages. One, it only has one subgingival interface because now we have the gingiva here, we have the connection between the abutment and the implant and it'll be subgingival but we only have one subgingival interface. So biologically speaking that is a a more advantageous prosthetic design because there's only one potential area that has micro movement or micro leakage. Thank you.